Did you know the Philippines has F-A-50? The Philippine Air Force chose 12 F-A-50 aircraft to fulfill its requirement for a light attack and lead-in fighter trainer aircraft. The Department of National Defense, DND, announced the selected light attack aircraft in August 2012. Funding for 12 aircraft was approved by Congress on September 2012. In October 2013, President Aquino said the DND was close to finalizing the F-A-50 deal. The former president and President Park Jun yi of South Korea signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Provisions for Acquisitions on 13 of February 2014. President Aquino approved the payment scheme for purchasing 12 lead-in fighter trainers with budget of 18.9 billion pesos. On 28 March 2014, the Philippines Department of National Defense signed a contract for 12 F-A-50 light attack aircraft, worth 18.9 billion pesos. The light attack aircraft deliveries began in November 2015 and were expected to be completed in May 2017. The first four F-A-50PH aircraft delivered were displayed on December 2016. All deliveries were completed by 31 of May 2017. Plans call for three or four of the 12 aircraft to be fitted with capability for beyond visual range intercept. In March 2015, Stockholm International Peace Research Institute reported that the Philippines plans to order 12 additional F-A-50s, which is supported by the Philippine Air Force Flight Plan 2028. In June 2018, it was discussed that the Philippine Air Force is reviewing the possibility of acquiring 12 more units. The F-A-50 is the most advanced version of the T-50, possessing more internal fuel capacity. Enhanced avionics, a longer radome and a tactical datalink. It is equipped with a modified Israeli ELM-2032 pulse Doppler radar, with Korean-specific modifications by LIG NEX-1. FA-50 engine could be either Eurojet EJ-200 or General Electric F-414. Upgraded to 20,000 pounds or 22,000 pounds thrust. Roughly 12 to 25% higher than the F-404's thrust and are offered to prospective customers for the T-50. The radar of the F-A-50 has a range two-thirds greater than the T-A-50's radar. The F-A-50 has a three-barrel cannon version of the M-61 Vulcan mounted internally behind the cockpit, which fires linkless 20mm ammunition. Wingtip rails can accommodate the AIM-9 Sidewinder missile, and a variety of additional weapons can be mounted to underwing hardpoints. Compatible air-to-surface weapons include the AGM-65 Maverick missile, Hydra-70, and larger rocket launchers, CBU-58 and Mark-20 cluster bombs, and Mark-82-83 and 84 general-purpose bombs. So what do you think about the F-A-50 of the Philippines? Just comment down below. And let's see if we can tackle it in the next episode.